se mueve un poquito más lento por razones de seguridad. His name is Jarvis, and he is one of the first robots to ever be programmed in Chile. He likes to tell jokes, imitate human movements, even dance in slow, jerky movements. My name is Jarvis, I'm a robot of service and I like to interact with humans. Jarvis lives in a cluttered technology lab inside the engineering school at the University of Chile. He was imported to the country by Professor Nestor Becerra, a leading expert in artificial intelligence, as part of an effort to help usher Chile into the world of technological innovation. Mira, eh, esto es algo que está teniendo impacto en todo el mundo. Ya básicamente eh, no es solamente un tema de desarrollo tecnológico, hay cambios sociales que se vienen y por supuesto en, en la economía. Entonces, muchos países del mundo ya están tomando iniciativas al respecto, o sea, hay por lo menos hasta hace algunos meses eran casi 30 que ya, ten, ya tenían una política de desarrollo de la inteligencia artificial. Y no solamente tecnológico, sino también hay, van a haber presiones sociales, porque el mundo laboral va a sufrir cambios, ya está sufriendo cambios. Becerra es parte de una Chilean Senate Commission charged with establishing the country's official policy regarding artificial intelligence, aimed at turning the country into a regional leader in technology by the year 2030 modeling itself after California's Silicon Valley. Jarvis is part of those efforts. The robot is used to teach students the science of writing code and programming, preparing them for an industry Chile hopes to lead in Latin America. The robot was first introduced to the public in 2015 at a robotics fair organized by the government in Santiago. Since then, investors have launched dozens of initiatives aimed at not only harnessing the power of artificial intelligence, but at making it commercially viable. It is a small step experts say could help dynamize the Chilean economy. The idea is the following. China Juan Naguel is an economist and professor in Santiago. He says Chile is well positioned. Chile has a very educated workforce, for once. Um, and it has good public finances, so the financing is there. I think that one of the things that it doesn't have is good venture capitals, uh, good venture capital industry, a good venture capital industry. Uh, I think the efforts there to deregulate the system in order for them, for these angel uh, investors to really take hold and flourish uh, is not there yet. Um, they, they talk about it a lot, but I, I don't think that the right measures have been implemented yet to, to really materialize that. And he says this would be a good step towards diversifying Chile's economy, which is too reliant on the export of commodities such as minerals, salmon, and consumer goods such as wine. Productivity has stopped growing in the last 10, 15, 20 years. And that has a little bit to do with the fact that our productive or our export matrix is really very similar to what it was 20 or 30 years ago. Chile still is heavily focused on minerals, on agricultural goods, on salmon, if you will, wine. Uh, these, are, these are goods and services that for a while provided a lot of value added, but now we've reached the point where we need to find new things to do. And the discovery of that is something that's not easy and countries struggle with it. Meet Cipedi, a robot that currently roams the aisles of dozens of grocery stores all around the country. It oversees inventory. Every day it scans more than 30,000 articles in a single store, sending information to human employees who then know how and when to stock shelves that are going empty. It starts working at midnight and spends three to four hours going up and down every aisle, using the systems of reasoning, perception, and action to do its job in a natural human environment. Ariel Schilkrut co-founded the company that created the robot in collaboration with the Catholic University of Chile and with the government's National Commission for Investigation into Science and Technology. He says the startup ecosystem that is developing in Chile has been favorable not only to his business, but to many more. In Chile, I think there was a movement of development, technology and development. Eh, nosotros en, en, en nuestro campo hay pocas en el mundo estamos probablemente compitiendo en tres o cuatro empresas en el mundo que están haciendo cosas similares pero nosotros creemos que de Chile se puede hacer tecnología 
eh, que, que pueda competir a nivel mundial. Ese es nuestro, nuestro propósito, de que partimos de esta empresa, crear una, un, una empresa que sea a nivel mundial y que revolucione la forma de, de, de trabajar. Y creo que eh, cada vez hay más empresas en Chile que emprendimientos que están tratando de hacer. This laboratory and test kitchen in Santiago is also at the forefront of technology. NotCo was founded in 2016 by three Chilean entrepreneurs who returned to the country after completing their higher education in the United States. It too uses artificial intelligence. Yes, another robot, this one called Giuseppe, to create plant-based food. The robot uses algorithms to identify and analyze all the chemical components of plants that might be used to create plant-based versions of animal products. It then produces a recipe which chefs in the test kitchen use to create dishes. Mayonnaise, milk, even hamburger meat have been created in the laboratory without a single component coming from an animal. Pablo Zamora is co-founder and chief science officer of NotCo. Sin embargo, la cantidad de ingredientes que tienen las plantas son tan altas y la diversidad de plantas que existe es tan grande que la combinatoria experimental humana es altamente ineficiente en búsqueda de esos patrones. Entonces, lo que utilizamos nosotros es la inteligencia artificial como para inferir relaciones que tienen esas variables que están dentro de cada una de las plantas para poder combinarlas. So far, the company has created dozens of food items from plants, attracting global investors such as Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. Pablo says the environment Chile offered for his startup was key to its success. Pues yo creo que en, en Chile se está incubando algo que, que es bien interesante y que, que con un mercado pequeño exploratorio como el nuestro, nosotros no somos un mercado grande. Eh, sin embargo, nosotros podemos probar en este mercado si esto, este tipo de alimentación y este tipo de productos nuevos funciona o no funciona. De aquí el paso siguiente es irse a una Argentina, irse a un Brasil y una vez que estemos en Brasil es irse a Estados Unidos. Pero no, una compañía pequeña de base tecnológica como nosotros Estados Unidos es un mercado demasiado competitivo, demasiado grande, por lo tanto tenemos que llegar maduro y con una prueba de concepto ya bien, bien cerrada para poder acceder a mercados más, más competitivos. Por lo tanto yo creo que Chile combina eso de, de tener incentivos para que el ecosistema sea eh, muy activo y al mismo tiempo un mercado suficientemente pequeño para si uno puede experimentar. Industry watchers say that ecosystem is taking off. Government incentives such as facilitating residence visas for foreign tech investors and grants of up to $40,000 for qualified entrepreneurs has bumped the value of the country's tech portfolio to nearly $1.5 billion. The government claims its tech program has created more than 8,000 higher paying jobs. But some say the government's focus on tech, its effort to recreate a Silicon Valley in South America, is too disconnected from the realities faced by the country's poor and middle class, who see little hope in ever seeing the benefits of the booming tech sector. Last year's at times violent protest against free trade and an economic model seen as not inclusive emphasized that concern. Florencia Sillero is a psychologist in Santiago who participated in those protests. Yo creo que mientras las necesidades más básicas que tienen que ver con salud, educación, pensiones, que tienen que ver lo que te dije antes con la dignidad de las personas, de que el presidente esté diciendo que está haciendo robot. As in other countries around the world, the concern that robots and artificial intelligence might shrink the job market are high in Chile. Paola Melo is another participant in last year's protests. She now works organizing her neighborhood to pressure the government to make changes in the economic model. Para nosotros es un, es una, una nueva segregación. Cuando hablamos de tecnología y, y, de, y de innovación en Chile, hablamos de quiénes están en insertos en esa dinámica. Por ejemplo, nosotros tenemos unos barrios super tecnologizados en Chile. Tú puedes ir al golf, eh, puedes ir a la dehesa, a Vitacura, y sí, la tecnología funciona y está todo robotizado. Tenemos también eh, investigación sobre robótica y tecnología, pero el propio Estado no puede financiar esa investigación, entonces lo ejercen los privados. Nosotros somos un, un Estado eminentemente subsidiario. Por lo tanto, todo eso no transita hacia la sociedad y no nos llega a nosotros. El chorreo económico nunca existió. Proponents of tech say robots such as Jarvis, Zipedi and Giuseppe will in fact create more jobs and allow people to be more efficient. Y lo que te produce el tener esta información hace que sea mucho más productivo eh, 
el trabajo de la gente que, que la misma gente que estaba antes en el supermercado ahora puede hacerlo de manera mucho más productiva puede, y, y con mucho mejores niveles de servicio para los clientes. Nelson de Serra, the professor who first introduced Jarvis to Chile in 2015, recognizes the social change technology might bring. Va sufrir cambio, ya está sufriendo cambio. Y lo que se pensaba antiguamente con el proceso de automatización, eh, en que básicamente eran los trabajos poco calificados, ahora ya no. O sea, básicamente es mucho más transversal. O sea, hay mucho, muchos trabajos cualificados, especializados en derecho, quizá en medicina, eh, tema de traducción, por ejemplo, ¿ya? Que, va, que van a ser potencialmente automatizables con la inteligencia artificial. Lo que va a ser un cambio en, en, en el mundo laboral y también en la sociedad. Chile might be well on its way to becoming a tech leader in Latin America, but it is facing the challenges other countries have to deal with as well, to find ways to ensure the benefits of advancement are accessible and welcomed by all.